Welcome to today's episode, everyone. We're delving into a fascinating intersection of technology, internet access, and security. If you've ever encountered network restrictions or found yourself struggling to connect through various platforms like Discord or YouTube, this episode is going to be particularly relevant for you. Let's start with the topic of circumventing internet restrictions, which is often a challenge faced by users across various regions. A tool that's been making waves in this space is called WinDivert. Now, WinDivert is quite an interesting piece of software. It allows users to intercept and filter network traffic. Think of it as a middleman that can reroute your data to help you bypass some rather strict internet blocks. But here's the kicker. While WinDivert itself isn't malicious and is necessary for some applications, antivirus software often flags it as a potential threat. Um, why is that? Well, antivirus programs tend to categorize software that can manipulate network traffic as high risk. And let's be honest, it's a caution to anyone who might be dabbling with such powerful tools. So, what should you do if you decide to use WinDivert and encounter problems with your antivirus? One common solution is to either create exceptions in your antivirus settings or temporarily disable the software while you're using WinDivert. Just keep in mind that doing this could expose you to real network threats, so it's a balancing act. Now let's talk usage. How do you actually use this tool? First step is to download it from the official repository. You'll want to unzip the files to a location that doesn't contain non-Latin characters in the file path. Just a little tidbit to keep everything running smoothly. There are various batch files included in the bundle for different platforms, like Discord or YouTube, each designed with unique strategies to bypass blocks. But there's an important caveat to mention. The effectiveness of these strategies can change over time. Internet blocking techniques evolve, and if one method stops working, you might need to tweak the settings or develop a new approach using the existing framework. It's almost like playing a cat and mouse game with internet accessibility. And speaking of accessibility, if you ever run into trouble with file execution, be sure to check that the necessary drivers are properly signed. You'd be surprised how many issues stem from that simple aspect. To wrap things up, software like WinDivert opens up discussions about internet censorship and user freedom online. With the right tools, individuals can navigate around barriers, but it also raises questions about security and ethical implications. So, as you think about the lengths you'd go to for a seamless internet experience, consider, what does internet freedom mean to you? It's a profound question and one that can guide your personal interactions with technology. Thanks for tuning in today. If this episode resonated with you, think about how you navigate the internet and any innovative strategies you've picked up along the way. Stay curious, and we'll catch you next time for more Tech Insights.